What's going on everyone? Hope you're having a great day and welcome to the Tundra Dude 34 YouTube channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, comment on some of the videos and take advantage of this fantastic group of Toyota Tundra owners and enthusiasts. Also, if you're new, check out the playlist section. I put all of these 1300 plus videos into categories to make it easier on you. So thank you for being here one and all. Okay, not a planned video today. I'm actually away on a little bit of a trip. Took about a 200 mile ride last night in the Tundra, but I wanted to just go over a little bit of how I feel about this truck after I go on a long ride with it. And that was amplified once again last night. So feel free to comment below. First off, quick background. I've owned six Tundras, six of them, all right? All of them were your regular 5.7 liter V8, except two. The first one I had was a 4.7 liter V8, which was the early secondary engine in the 07 to 09 Tundras that they changed to the 4.6 in 2010. And my last truck before this, as you know, if you've been around the channel for a while, was a 2017 Platinum that we put a supercharger in, all right? The reason I got rid of that was to get this 2020, because for the channel, I felt like they've done enough upgrades since 2017, which was my last truck, uh, to justify basically having the same stuff you guys have in the truck. And I also wanted to have a naturally aspirated 5.7 V8 again, so I could talk about what you guys are driving. Uh, supercharger owners, there's only a few people out there that have that. So I spent about three years with the supercharger and learning everything I could with it. So it was time to come back to the 5.7. Okay, there's everybody caught up there. When I bought this truck, I will tell you, I bought this truck as, like I said, to do all of the current stuff with you guys, to talk about all the stuff that's offered in today's Tundra. But it was meant to be a gap truck between that Platinum and the next generation Tundra that is expected model year 2022. Problem is I fell in love with this truck. And for all the reasons I didn't expect, I fell in love with this truck. Number one, the new Entune system is just 10 times better than the old Entune system. Entune 3.0, um, I like it a lot more. I do miss the CD player of the last generation Tundra. It's not even the last generation. It was a CD player up until 2019. 2020, bigger screen, no CD player, but that's an old school me thing. But the new Entune system, it's a lot more user friendly. It works a lot better. Uh, just overall, a better experience, absolutely, with that in this truck, the 2020. But I keep saying it, I harp on it over and over again. And I do that so we could have a great conversation on it. But every time I take a long trip, this 5.7 liter V8 setup they have in this 2020 literally blows my mind. And this is coming from someone who had a supercharged Tundra. The feeling of this 5.7 V8 is different from any other Tundra I've ever driven. I started to get a vibe on the 2020 5.7 when I had a press vehicle back in February before I bought this. It was a 1794 TRD off-road. And that 5.7 felt a little bit different, a little more responsive, a little more uh, just get up and go. It felt like it had three really strong cups of coffee and it was just ready to go. There was no sluggish feeling. There was nothing like that. But when I bought this truck and started to drive these long distances, I started to realize how much fun it was compared to some of the other five sevens. I did a little digging um, and there's just a different calibration on this engine for 2020. I don't know if it has anything to do with the trans cooler not being here anymore for uh, 2019 and up but the engine feels completely different than any 5.7. The power delivery along the highway, uh, when you're going to pass a vehicle, the linear, uh, just the way the power is fed to the wheels, it's different. The throttle mapping, the shifting, everything about this 2020 Tundra is different from everything I've ever driven of a Tundra, including the supercharged Tundra. I actually like the power delivery of this 2020 more than my supercharged 2017 because of the way the truck shifts, the throttle mapping, and the throttle response. Don't get me wrong. As we know, the supercharged Tundra is amazingly fast. Um, you put your foot down on the pedal and the truck goes. But a lot of times, when you put down your foot down on the pedal in a supercharged Tundra, it... Uh, I wanted to break loose a little bit or your traction control stuff would come on because it's so much power. This is a nice linear amount of power. Whatever they truly did, and Toyota's pretty top secret on stuff like this, but whatever they truly did to the 5.7 liter V8 uh, for 2020 and 2021, because you know they did the same thing, it's amazing and it is noted and I couldn't be happier with this engine. Unbelievable. You don't understand. I've been dr uh, driving Tundras a, a long time now. Uh, my first Tundra was in 07, uh, but 
I've never been this thrilled and happy to make even a video like this to tell you how great of an experience this 5.7 V8 is. And a couple other things with the 2020 that I've noticed along you know, with driving this. Um, I had a TRD Pro before. I had a TRD Pro Bilstein suspension on my 2017 Platinum. This is the Fox suspension, my first time with it, the TRD Pro setup. Um, it is a lot smoother. It feels like it goes down the road really nice. Keep in mind that I had BFG KO2 all-terrain tires on my 2017. This has the stock Michelin LTXs. Um, so that's going to be a lot more of a smoother ride to begin with. But just overall, the way the Fox suspension rides over the bumps and everything, even my wife, who could care less about cars or trucks, says how smooth this truck is compared to some of the other Tundras that we've owned. So there's just a lot going on. The steering feels tighter. Just overall, the driving experience of this 2020 exceeds all of my other times. Okay, sorry guys. Looks like something happened to my camera. Always with this camera, might be time for a new one. Uh, but what I was saying was after these 200 mile or so trips that I take every once in a while in my Tundras, I really noticed the difference of how much of um, the enjoyability, if that is a word, uh, is so different for me now. I always enjoy driving the Tundra. I always enjoyed the 5.7, but now it's just a different beast. It's a different animal. Uh, the truck, just get up and go. I'm up in the mountains, so when I'm coming up in the mountains sometimes, uh, it would feel a little sluggish getting up the hills, but this thing is just a different beast out there. So overall, the point of this video is this. Number one, I want to hear from you owners that own a 2020 or a 2021 um, that owned a different Tundra from earlier model years to tell me if you agree that the 2020 and 2021, uh, the 5.7 feels different. Number two, if you're in the market for a Tundra and you're on the fence about waiting for the next gen or getting a 2021 or a leftover 2020, go test drive a 2020 or a 2021. The other point of this video is how many times can I say 2020 and 2021 by the end? So if anybody wants to do a count, uh, go for it just for a good time. Uh, the incentives are out there right now if you're thinking about Tundras, but I just had to come on here. This was not a planned video today, but I was just so happy after that drive last night. Um, it was enjoyable from start to finish. Uh, if you're thinking fuel mileage, how did my fuel mileage go? Uh, my little screen in the gauge cluster here at the end of the trip said 16.6. So that's not terrible. Uh, for a long drive like that, especially going up into the mountains. Keep that in mind. We went from sea level all the way up into the mountains. Uh, you know, I'm sure on the way down, if I really nursed it, I could really get uh, my fuel mileage up more. And I want to tell you, last night, because I was having so much fun driving this thing, I did not nurse it at all. We were having a good time on the road. There wasn't a lot of traffic, uh, but it was just moving and grooving, and I had a great time driving this thing. And I got to be honest with you, this is my sixth Tundra by far my favorite Tundra of all the other ones that I've owned. I'm not kidding. My brother's here as well. I was just telling him the same thing. It's just an amazing driving experience. I'm excited to get in the truck. I've owned it seven months now. It's still a great time, but I really look forward to these long trips. So let me know what you think. Um, like I said, had to tell you guys how I feel. Uh, sometimes we're doing videos about Toyota information, rumors about the next gen and everything like that. And we're talking next truck all the time, but we can't forget about these little things about our current trucks that are awesome. Like this recalibrated 5.7 liter V8, absolutely amazing. So let me know what you think in the comments below. So what I'm going to do, as I always do, is put up a couple playlists for you today. The first one I'm going to put up is the Toyota dealership walks. What I do, if you don't know this, if you're new to the channel, usually on Sundays, I'll go over to local dealerships and just see what they got and talk a little bit about the trucks. I do it with or without the camera, so I might as well do it with you guys as well. Go check out that one. And the other one we're going to do is the 2020 TRD Pro Tundra. That's all the videos I've made since I bought this truck. Um, and just some of the things I've added to it, some of the driving experience stuff, you know, everything that you'd want to know about this truck here. So go check out those playlists and the other playlists and videos on this channel. Welcome aboard and let me know what you think. So happy to be in this 5.7 liter V8 until the next gen. Can't wait. Uh, but until next time, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook at TundraDude34, TundraDude34gmail.com. Guys, have a great day. Be safe. I'll talk to you soon. And let me know what you think about this 5.7 liter V8 and this 20 and 2021 Tundra. Have a good one.